Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on, well, a follow-up video from my previous how to download Xbox 360 ISOs. Um, I'm only doing this because Kevin DeCosta, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, asked me to make this. But I'm making it, so I hope you enjoy it. And, yeah. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description for ImageBurn and download ImageBurn. I recommend using their mirror or download link. Just download that. Right, I've already got it downloaded and I'm sure you know how to install a program. If you don't then you need help on a computer and you shouldn't be watching this video. Alright, so say you've just downloaded and installed ImageBurn. You want to open up your ImageBurn. Oh, I'm going to have to show you my settings. I've got an iHas 124B burner and a normal iHas 122 burner. I burn my XGD3 games on my iHas 124B and I burn my normal XGD2 games on the other burner. So I'm going to show you the XGD2 settings and the XGD3 settings but in separate sections. Alright, the first thing you want to do is come on to read and go, no sorry, build and go onto page 2 and turn the read buffer size up to 512 so that's build and page 2 um, all of these should be the same go to the right page right for XGD2 you use a layer break it's 1913760 and please copy my settings from the side here right should have enough time to look at those page 2 I think I've just left all that the same um, verify that's all the same graph data that's all the same right, on the pay on the IO tab you want to go to page 2 and turn the buffer size to 512 and make sure enable buffer recovery is on <coughs> on device you just leave that the same it sounds the same unless you want to change it so now you've got those settings you want to write an image file and pick a Xbox 360 game um, it doesn't really matter what I picked uh, I also recommend organizing all your folders for this so I have my awaiting burn awaiting patch burned uh, in my burned I have XGD2 so they're all the, the games that need the layer break and XGD3 they're all the games that need a uh, calculate optimal layer break which it picks itself so now I'll just pick, I don't know, Far Cry 2, no, Black Ops. I'm not actually going to burn it off, so it didn't really matter anyway. Right, I have my two burners. It doesn't really matter which one I use, but I'll just pick my eye has one, two, two. Uh, you want to make sure Verify is checked. You don't have to, but you should just in case. Um, uh, put a disc in. I'm not going to put one in because there's no point. If you're using verbatim discs, the speed I recommend is 2.4 but if you're burning XGD3s I think you can only burn at 4 um, but the burn at the lowest possible 4 is the max speed I would ever burn at um, click on that little running man all of these you don't need these settings these are just custom settings I've got for when I put a disc in and it figures out what speed I want it so you don't need any of that uh, these settings I've left are left all alone um, that's pretty much it for burning games. You'll just stick a disc in, a disc in for come up on the side, and you'll press burn. Right now, for an XGD3 game, is what you want to do is pick an XGD3 ISO. Obviously, use watch my other videos so you know how to patch the games. Uh, just pick Battlefield 3, disc 2. Right, so I've got my XGD3 game loaded. You want to go to Tools, Settings, Right, <coughs> and Calculate Optimal. This is only you can only burn XGD3 games if you've got an iHas 124B or another version of an iHas B because otherwise you'll be truncating your discs if that's the right word and you'll get banned off Xbox Live for that and you probably don't want to get banned so use an iHas 124B but you want to be calculating optimal okay right as you can see it's got the layer right there set because it's it's going to use that one instead of the one nine whatever I picked. Um, put your iHas one two four B on, and on here if you have got an iHas one two four B, 
these are the settings I use and they have worked fine for me for ages. Force hyper tuning enabled, online hyper tuning disabled, over speed disabled, smart burn enabled, clear o OPC, I just leave that alone. Never clear bef after each burn or before each burn, I just leave it. Um, that's pretty much all the settings. So, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe.